Welcome to Shujin Academy VGM Club. I'm Professor Tom, your faculty sponsor. Today's opening track is West Lake from Megami Tensei Gaiden, Last Bible 3 from the Super Famicom, composed by Hiroyuki Yanada. Now, a reading from the Holy Bible, the first ten verses of chapter 3 of the book of Exodus. Moses was tending the flock of Jethro, his father-in-law, the priest of Midian, and he led the flock to the far side of the wilderness and came to Horeb, the mountain of God. There, the angel of the Lord appeared to him in flames of fire from within a bush. Moses saw that though the bush was on fire, it did not burn up. So Moses thought, I will go over and see this strange sight, why the bush does not burn up. When the Lord saw that he had gone over to look, God called to him from within the bush, Moses, Moses. And Moses said, Here I am. Do not come any closer, God said. Take off your sandals, for the place where you are standing is holy ground. Then he said, I am the God of your father, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. At this, Moses hid his face, because he was afraid to look at God. The Lord said, I have indeed seen the misery of my people in Egypt. I have heard them crying out because of their slave drivers, and I am concerned about their suffering. So I have come down to rescue them from the hand of the Egyptians, and to bring them up out of that land into a good and spacious land, a land overflowing with milk and honey, the home of the Canaanites, Hittites, Amorites, Perizzites, Hivites, and Jebusites. And now the cry of the Israelites has reached me, and I have seen the way the Egyptians are oppressing them. So now, go, I am sending you to Pharaoh to bring my people, the Israelites, out of Egypt." What does it sound like when God speaks? In multiple video games, a divine force appears to the heroes and calls them to their destiny to challenge and overcome a great evil to save the world. The example that immediately comes to mind for me is Final Fantasy IV, where the Dark Knight Cecil seeks redemption for his crimes, so he climbs to the top of a mountain and encounters an otherworldly presence that transforms him into a paladin and then charges him with defeating the evil kingdom of Baron, controlled by the dark wizard Golbez. Today's episode is all about music that sounds like those encounters, as if you're the protagonist and something much greater than you has confronted you and said that you are the hero of legend, and only you can turn the tide and rescue the world from darkness. Almost all of these songs come from JRPGs, because it's a recurring narrative in that genre, and from a musical perspective, they tend to handle it very well. Every song is not explicitly about such an encounter, but they all tend to share the feeling of wonder, awe, mystery, and fear that both Moses and Cecil experienced. To better establish the feel of this episode, I'm splitting the music into two blocks instead of the usual three or more, and it will be presented without commercial interruption to keep crass consumerism from cheapening our spiritual experience. The inspiration for this show was The Lunarians from Final Fantasy IV for the Super NES, composed by Nobuo Oimatsu. I can't think of a better way to start our first block. The second song you'll hear is Nostalgia from Final Fantasy V Pixel Remaster, again composed by Nobuo Oimatsu, with arrangements from quite a few others that I'll list fully in the show notes. Song three in the block is Icicle Forest from Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, Explorers of Sky for the Nintendo DS, composed by Arato Iyoshi, Hideki Sakamoto, Keisuke Ito, Kenichi Saito, and Yoshihiro Maeda. There's a lot of overlap between the sounds of ice areas in RPGs and the sound I'm looking for today, with both of them sharing a sense of otherworldly wonder. The fourth song in the block is Our Starry Sky, Planetarium, from Tokimeki Memorial for the PC Engine CD, composed by Mikio Saito, Seiya Murai, Miki Higashino, 
and Hiro Noguchi. To stare at the stars on a clear night is to gaze upon the infinite, a presence that dwarfs you in its enormity and awes you with its beauty. The block's fifth song is Underwater Palace from Romancing Saga 3 for the Super Famicom, composed by Kinji Ito. Much like ice areas, video games tend to communicate the feel of underwater areas with the tones of the sacred and the strange. For the sixth song, it's On Holy Ground from Albert Odyssey for the Super Famicom, composed by Sunsoft star composer Naoki Kodaka. And closing out the block, we have Secret of the Forest, a classic selection from Chrono Trigger for the SNES, composed by Yasunori Mitsuda. This track captures the feeling of divine mystery perfectly. Now, take off your sandals, for the place you are standing is holy ground.
Those songs were The Lunarians from Final Fantasy IV, Nostalgia from Final Fantasy V Pixel Remaster, Icicle Forest from Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Explorers of Sky, Our Starry Sky Planetarium from Tokimeki Memorial, Underwater Palace from Romancing Saga III, On Holy Ground from Albert Odyssey, and finally Secret of the Forest from Chrono Trigger. Part of being called by the light is accepting the mission, knowing that there will be danger and difficulty, but trusting that you will be provided for and you can overcome the obstacles that face you. This second block of songs includes many of the same feelings as the first, but also the feeling that you've accepted your charge and you must fulfill the will of the divine. We'll start with Pure Night, Pure Land from Secret of Mana for the Super Nintendo, composed by Hiroki Kikuta. After that, it'll be the classic Flowers Blooming in the Church from Final Fantasy VII for the PlayStation, composed by Nobuo Oematsu. For the block's third and fourth songs, we'll return to Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Explorers of Sky for the DS with A New World, and then we'll revisit Tokimeki Memorial for the PC Engine CD with Stormy Field. The Mystery Dungeon composers were Arata Iyoshi, Hideki Sakamoto, Keisuke Ito, Kenichi Saito, and Yoshihiro Maeda, and the Tokimeki Memorial composers are Mikio Saito, Seiya Marai, Miki Higashino, and Hiro Noguchi. The fifth song in the block is Dungeon from Dual Orb 2 for the Super Famicom, composed by Nobuyuki Hara and Yu Yoshida. The block's penultimate song is Morning of the Journey from Ease 3, Wanderers from Ease for the Genesis, composed by Yoshiaki Kubatera, Noriyuki Iwadare, and Meiko Ishikawa. Finally, our communion with the Divine ends with The Silent Beyond from Final Fantasy V for the Super Famicom, composed by Nobuo Oimatsu. Let us go out into the world and begin our journey to salvation.
those songs were Pure Night, Pure Land from Secret of Mana, Flowers Blooming in the Church from Final Fantasy VII, A New World from Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Explorers of Sky, Stormy Field Romance from Tokimeki Memorial, Dungeon from Dual Orb II, Morning of the Journey from Ease Three: Wanderers from Ease, and finally, The Silent Beyond from Final Fantasy V. And that is the show. If you want to reach me, you can find me on Threads, Tumblr, or Instagram as Shujin Academy VGM Club. I'm also at Mastodon at Shujin Academy VGM Club at Mastodon.coffee. My username on Discord is Professor Tom, and I've joined Blue Sky as at Shujin Academy.bsky.social. All episodes of the show are posted to my YouTube channel, which you can find by searching for Shujin Academy VGM Club. You can email me at Shujin Academy VGM Club at gmail.com. Links to everything are available on my link tree at linktr.we slash Shujin Academy. Please leave me a five-star rating on iTunes or Spotify or wherever you're finding this episode. New episodes are released once or twice a month, depending on how often I get them done, and they premiere on Thursday mornings on your favorite podcatcher and on 8beats.co, the internet's number one game music radio station. I'm also now appearing on TerraPlayer, the new app that's a destination for gaming podcasts and other content, so you can check me out there. Special thanks for this episode goes out to fellow VGM podcaster Jameson of Bar Silence Podcast for contributing cover art. You can and should find Bar Silence wherever you download podcasts, and check out his website at barsilence.com. The Bible reading that opens the show came from the New International Version translation, and I found it on biblegateway.com. Finally, thanks go out to our sponsor Long Tones, an experimental electronic jazz music project. Check them out on Spotify or find their SoundCloud page in the show notes. I've got one more song to end the show, and it's Boundless Ocean from Final Fantasy III on the Famicom, composed by Nobuo Oimatsu. I specifically chose the Famicom version of this track, and not one of its later ports, because I love how the limited abilities of the Famicom capture the feeling of loneliness and enormity that comes from having a mission to save the world against seemingly impossible obstacles. Thank you for listening. I'm Professor Tom, and I'll see you next time on Shujin Academy VGM Club. (laughs) 